So your window won't roll up or down and you want to know if it's the uh, motor or not. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive and I'm going to show you how to check that out. But whatever car you're working with, you need to get the door panel off and get access to the actual motor itself. And one of the tools we're going to use to, to test this is the Power Pro. And uh, if you don't have one of these in your toolbox, I recommend you getting one. These things are super handy for testing all kinds of different electrical uh, components. So, you know, with this button in the middle, you can apply your battery voltage to something by pushing up on the switch, or if you want to put a ground to something, you can actually apply that by pushing the switch in the opposite direction. Okay, with that said, the way we're going to test this is um, on the window motors here, uh, they have a switch that, so on one way it'll be power, and then the, and it'll apply the ground, and then it'll go up, and then, uh, then if you want to go the opposite direction, in the switching, It'll switch it, and the other side will be power, and the uh, opposite side will be the ground down. So, so it doesn't matter which side you hook the ground up to it, but you're going to use a little ground attachment that's on the probe. You clip it on. So what you're going to do is, now you're going to take your power probe and put it on the opposite side of the terminal, and push it, and now we're applying 12 volts straight to the, to the uh, window motor, and as you can see, nothing has happened. So just uh, for, for giggles, we'll switch it and we'll apply it 12 volts to the opposite side. And as you can see, nothing happened again. So the motor is fried. But now I want to make sure also, just you know, just to show you in, in, in checking, what you could do is you can put the probe in in the uh, electrical connector here. Let's see if I can, and then and then you can operate the switch. And on the gauge here, you'll see it either switch on. So I got the power probe in one end. And I got the master switch here. So I'm going to switch the switch. So we're testing to see if the switch is getting a signal. So you operate the switch. And as you can see, I'm getting 12, 12, oh, 11.6 volts. And uh, so so now from the switch, when we push the downward button on this terminal, it's getting power. So now. So that's telling me that the switch is working, the fuse is working, the relay working, everything's working to the motor. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch, do the exact same test, but on the opposite terminal, and do the and same. And see if the switch is working in the both directions, because they can fail and you know work one way but fail the other. So we're going to just switch that. their terminal. And it's in in there. You can see holding I'm holding my finger. Now I'm going to switch the switch up, and you can see it has power. So that indicates that the switch is working. And that's how you use a power probe to test a window motor on an automotive uh, vehicle. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive and I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and remind you guys to subscribe for more valuable tips and also encourage you to go out and get a, a power probe. These things are amazing tools.